Yo, it was good, fam. Troublemaker here. Going to do my predictions video for Extreme Rules. Yeah, let's take a look at that logo right quick. If you could see that. Yeah, there you go. Extreme Rules and shit, you know. Alright, so. Mm, this uh, this card's going to have eight matches, which is pretty cool. Um, and I'm just going to go... The way Wikipedia has presented them, you know what I mean? Okay. So the first match, Tyson Kidd and Cesaro versus New Day. You will like us. You must like us. Clap. <laughs> Claps. No. Clap, snap, put it in the air. We are having fun. Okay, so, um... I'm pretty sure that Tyson Kidd and Cesaro are going to retain, you know, because, um, like, I think they need, they need to retain the titles, uh, just because they're good, they're good, like, bad guys, but if, <sighs> yeah, like, if they retain, I think New Day will, you know, become, like, the new bad day or something like that. So we'll see how that goes. And competing in this will be Big E and Kofi of New Day, apparently. So I say that we're going to see a Cesaro swing on Big E. And then he's going to be thrown into Kofi. And then Kid's going to do something amazing and they're going to win. That's what's up. Okay. Next up, Seth Rollins versus Randy Orton. Steel cage match for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship with Kane as the cage gatekeeper. Orton is banned from using the RKO. Hmm. Seth is totally retaining. Like, I'm a, I'm a huge Randy Orton fan, don't get me wrong. But I just think that, uh, I think that Seth is going to retain. See, what I think they did here is they took the title off of, like, the part-timer, which was Mr. Lesnar, and they put it on a full-timer who's young and can go through a lot of crazy matches and stuff. So this is just the beginning for Seth. I think he's going to have a, a significantly long run. He consistently kept saying he was the future. Now it's time to prove it. Okay, next up, John Cena versus Rusev in a Russian chain match for the United States Championship. Okay, calling it now, Cena's going to win STF with the biker chain around Rusev's neck. Done. Uh, you know, and to add insult to injury, maybe throw in that, like, springboard stunner or whatever. I, I wish, you know, I think, I would like to see John Cena do some sort of, like, flip move, like some high-flying flip move, or... Or something more than just a leg drop, you know? That's just me, though. That's totally off topic, but whatever. And then we got Daniel Bryan versus Bad News Barrett and his Barrett Barrage in a singles match for the W Intercontinental Championship. Uh, Daniel Bryan's champion. Daniel Bryan's going to retain. He's probably going to make that title a little more valuable to uh, for people to keep on fighting and going crazy to go get it. So that's what's up. Um, Next up is Dolph Ziggler versus Sheamus in a Kiss My Arse match. Um, you know what? I'm pretty sure Sheamus is winning and we're going to see his white buttocks. And, uh, yeah, Ziggler's probably going to have to kiss it. That's honestly what I think is going to go down. I, will, I want, personally, Dolph Ziggler to win, but Sheamus is probably going to win. Uh, moving on to Nikki Bella versus Naomi. Singles match for the WWE Women's Championship. Hashtag give divas a chance. <laughs> give, hashtag give divas a chance. Hashtag I just fumbled. Okay. Um... Hmm, this is, yeah, Nikki Bella's probably going to retain, you know, because, like, Naomi's coming up, she's on the come up right now, you know what I mean, like, 
She got the attitude. She did pull off the victories against Nikki prior to, but Nikki's probably still going to retain for now. That's what I think. Um, sorry if you keep seeing buggers in my nose. I said sorry, bitch. Okay, now there's Roman Reigns versus Big Show in a last man standing match. I didn't even know this match was going to happen, so I don't know how relevant this match is to the card. However, Roman Reigns is going to win. No doubt about it. 